Viewers and subscribers, welcome back again. This is Toby VI Channel 1. Nigerians, let us together take a look at this video. Of bandits, call them terrorists, or armed militias in the north, celebrating Salah openly in one community in Zamfara State. And we are sitting in a country where the DSS, the military, the police, and all other security architecture do not have solution to insecurity problem in Nigeria, especially in the north. Who is deceiving who? I am particularly convinced that they are not <laughs> telling themselves the truth about the fight against insurgents in Nigeria. To be honest with you, if it were to be in the South, if it were to be in the South is particular, my homeland, holding an open ceremony like this with people they consider terrorists or armed insurgents or even common agitators, unarmed agitators, identified as Biafrans, in an open celebration like this, boom, that community will be raised down. That community will be raised down automatically, with no exception. If you think I am lying, go to Imo State and see what is happening there. That even the governor was even boasting of bombing a whole community. The governor of Imo State. It happened. And you are sitting in the same country where they can freely have and celebrate Salah with the community. And up to today, it's as if nothing happened. Try it in the East. Try a resemblance of it in the East. We are not talking about insurgents. So we are not talking about armed people or um, violent agitators or whatever you may call it. We are talking about peaceful protesters coming together to say we are Biafrans with Biafran regalias to celebrate any festival in the East. That community will be raised down. And you asked a question. Do we have what you call one Nigeria? How is it one? How do you have different standard for people in the same country you call one? That's why people like us, we always say one Nigeria is a scam. Because the government of the day, they are not sincere in their scam. How can somebody be sincere in his scam? Oh, in their crusade of one Nigeria. <laughs> no, but that is not funny. But ultimately, Everywhere there is insurgent, everywhere there is all these violent activities. Check it. The government is not doing what is needful. And the people are always the victims, which should not be. We condemn it completely. Government must sit up and do the needful. There is no way you can tell me if this country is, you know, restructured in the regional, um, you know, structures or have a regional government. You will tell me, there is no way you tell me that these insecurities will be happening. It will not be happening because most of the insurgent or militia or terrorist activities, they happen in in a kind of way that is peculiar to that region. And only the people of that region will understand how to tackle that very manage. But when you take it all the way to Abuja, I have one man sitting in Abuja to dictate how security measures will be mapped out. I can tell you, we will continue going merry-go-round. And the worst part, the ordinary Nigerians will continue being victims. And this is what we are advocating for, that Nigeria should stop being victims of failed government and failed system we have in Nigeria today. And the bottom line is, restructure this country back to regional government and see things start working back, at least 
towards the solution of the problem. What's your take on it? Drop it on the comment section. Share it and open the minds and thoughts of Nigerian people to understand the message we carry on this platform. GGM Good Governance Ministry will continue being committed for the betterment of ordinary people, all indigenous people in Nigeria, from the east to the north to west. Every one of us are victims of bad governance. So if you are and you believe in this message, share it and be part of this crusade and campaign to restructure Nigeria back to regional government. That is the only solution to the problem of Nigeria. What's your take? Bye-bye for now.